Hi, uh, welcome back in the garage again. Uh, today I'm on a quest for even more power because that's what I need. I'm still about seven horsepower shy, so uh, plenty more to get. I'm now going to look at the inlet. On a standard barrel, there's a hole in the bottom of the inlet tract that allows fuel air mixture to go into the crankcase. On the Artisa kit, it doesn't. However, I had a bit of a look around and I found that the BDK one does. So, my plan today is to bore a hole in there, stick it on and get it to the dyno. Problem I've got, I'm up against the time today. It's now 8 o'clock, I need to get this done tonight, so it's going to be a bit of a battle against that. And as always, uh, like, subscribe if you're enjoying it, leave us a comment. Use this. Yeah, I've got a bit of a reference there now. Right, let's get to the mill. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, not sure how well I'm going to show this because I can only just about see what I'm doing myself. So I was always told as well when you're filing or emery cloth in a port, actually this is the direction of flow. So it does assist the flow a little bit. Whether it does in reality, I'm not 100%. However, it sounds plausible. Okay, that's the barrel all done. Made a better job on that bit, but. Overall, I'm quite pleased with how it looks, how it's going to perform. I guess we'll find out with Dino. So. Okay, doing this rough and dirty. First few runs, it's making roughly the same power, so no increase to the low oak, but it's stuttering again, like it did when it had a leak. So I put the laminar on it, and this was the runs that the blue is the laminar that I did last time, and that's that's about 12 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, no, that's 13 actually. This one, it's gone up to 14 and a half, and up here it's at 17 laminar. So that is my issue. I've got another leak, so I'm going to have to sort that out first. Thought I'd do a quick leak check uh, before running it. Pleased I it did. It's leaking from this interface again. So I'm going to replace the O-ring in there. However, it doesn't appear to be leaking from the reeds, which is good. Alright, yeah, try again. Bloody move now. God damn it. Okay, problem solved. I figured it out. 
I stone that off before this little ridge and it's come back and it's worse and it's like eh, what is that so this sits on top of here I don't know if you can see through there where the screw for this goes it's catching on there so it's digging into the alloy and it's going to be pushing it up here which is going to be effectively as I'm screwing it in it's doing that <laughs> test uh, I got the 13.7 and 14.1 respectively was their power I'm not sure if that was a little bit of a blip the runs we did yesterday with the uh, floor port in so I'll, I'll leave the best one in is this blue curve here so that's with the KX80 carb and the new reads in the runs that I recorded I had this down incorrectly as old but as you can see we are 13.7, 14.7 versus about 14.1. So 0 0.6 of a horsepower increase. I also did a test with the Pelini 30 mil carb. So bigger carb, and actually it gave a little bit less power. The best power is with that extra port cut and with a KX uh, 80 carb. So next up will be a bit more compression I'm going to cut a couple of heads to make sure you see future episodes where I do further testing then remember to hit that subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I bring out the next video now was yours, you were mine.